The naval battle of Papido was a naval engagement fought between Spanish and Chilean forces on November 26, 1865, during the Chincha Islands War. It was fought 55 miles north of Alparaiso, Chile, near the coastal town of Papido. Background until November 1865, Chile had been the only country firm in its declaration of war against Spain, which desired to recapture its lost South American colonies. Through the efforts of its president, Mariano Ignacio Prado, Peru was subsequently galvanized into action against Spain. Familiar with Spanish naval movements, the Chilean corvette Esmeralda, under the command of Juan Williams Riboledo, and whose crew included Arturo Pratt, Juan José Latour and Carlos Condal, waited for any Spanish ships to appear between Coquimbo and Valparaiso. The Chileans hoisted a British flag on their ship and maneuvered themselves close to the Spanish ship Virgin de Covadonga. Under the command of Louis Ferri, who thought that the ship may have been one of the similarly built British vessels Shearwater, Columbina, or Mutin, the Esmeralda opened fire on the Covadonga, which returned fire, but the Chilean gunners proved more skillful. After the Covadonga received severe hits that incapacitated its crew, the Spaniards attempted to escape, but it was too late. The Esmeralda followed her, continuing to fire. For he called out his surrender to Williams Riboledo, who ordered Manuel Thompson to take possession of the Spanish ship. Chilean engineers then worked to save the captured vessel. All in all, the battle lasted only half an hour. In addition to Commander Ferri, six Spanish officers and 115 sailors were taken as prisoners. The Chileans also captured the correspondence of Spanish Admiral Juan Manuel Pereja. This action, together with the general failure of Spanish operations during the Chincha Islands War, led to Pereja committing suicide on board his flagship a few days later. Covadonga, now a vessel in the Chilean Navy, later saw combat in the Battle of Iquique during the War of the Pacific.